Hi, this is Chris Norris from Korg USA, and in this video we're going to be talking about the three main modes of GEC5 operation. Lecture, practice, and group modes. I'll be using the Mac app, but if you have the Windows app, Mac app, Android, or iOS app, the functionality, design, and layout of the app is identical. Let's start with lecture mode. In lecture mode, all the audio from the teacher's instrument, computer, or audio device, as well as their headset microphone, will be heard by all students. To access lecture mode, click the lecture icon at the bottom of the screen. Lecture mode is used when you, the teacher, want to present material in a lecture format. Students hear the teacher station output plus their own station. To mute all student station sound while in lecture mode, click the student instruments icon on the bottom right corner of the application. This icon will turn gray, indicating that all students only hear the teacher's microphone, instrument, and auxiliary devices. You can also bring students into the lecture so that they can be a part of the presentation by double-clicking. A blue headset icon will appear next to the student's name, and they are now broadcasting their station's audio to the class. Next is practice mode. To access practice mode, click the practice icon at the bottom of the main GEC screen. Practice mode is used when the students are working independently. Each student only hears his or her own instrument. You have the option of hearing the student or hearing and speaking with the student. To eavesdrop on a student, double-click the student station. You will see a headphone icon without a microphone. This indicates that you are listening in, but they can't hear you. To communicate one-on-one -on -one with a student, double-click the same student station again. You'll now see a headphone with a microphone icon, indicating that the student will hear your voice and you will hear theirs. Finally, we have group mode. To access group mode, click the group icon at the bottom of the screen. Group mode allows you to define groups of two or more student workstations so that they can collaborate on projects with complete audio capabilities. Each student hears their own instrument and the mic and instrument of the other students working in their assigned group. You have the option of eavesdropping on the groups or having two-way communication with them. The GEC5 software includes four auto group preset groups and each class has slots for up to six different custom preset groups. To group students using the existing auto group presets, click the Recall Presets button, then select one of the auto group presets. In Duet, students are paired in groups of two. Random Duet, students are still paired in groups of two, but randomly throughout the classroom, and every time you select Random Duet, the pairings will change. Quartet groups students in groups of four. Group All puts all students into one large group, and ungroup all ungroups every student. To group students into custom groups, enter group mode, then click and hold on a student station until the icon turns blue. Continue to click and hold on additional students so multiple students are blue. Once you've selected the students for your first group, click New Group down on the bottom left. The students will now display a group icon and a red color. Repeat this process for each additional group. Each new group will have a different color. To add a student to an existing group, Click and hold on a student in the group and then click and hold on the new student. To add a student to an existing group, click and hold on a student in the group and then click and hold on the new student. Click the colored box next to Add to Group. To remove a student from an existing group, click and hold on the student you want to remove until the icon turns blue and then click Ungroup. If you have a set grouping that you commonly use, you can create your own custom preset. Select Save Preset from the top center of the screen. Select one of the custom presets, then type a name for the preset and click Save. To recall this custom preset in the future, click Recall Preset, and then select from your listing of manual presets. The last feature on the bottom of the GEC screen is All Call. All Call is available in practice and group modes. Press it to route the signal from the teacher's mic to every headphone set connected in the studio or classroom. This is the quickest and easiest way to establish communication with the students in practice or group mode. By pressing the All Call button, you turn off all student instrument and voice audio, and students will only hear you, the teacher, and your instrument. All other selections and button presses are disabled. The All Call feature is especially helpful when you need to signal a transition to a new activity or to help you avoid distraction during a lecture. If you click the link on the left, that'll take you to the next video in this series, which will dive a little deeper into the teacher and class menu of the GEC. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, you can contact us at korg.com/education.